Hey, so today I wanted to share with you two recipes for making your own disinfectant and cleaners so that you don't have to put toxic chemicals into the air of your home and breathe that in, which creates issues. Uh, I mentioned yesterday in my video about some orange oil with vinegar that is a great cleaner and I had a question about how to make it, so I thought I would do this quick video to share with you guys. This is super simple. Orange peels, I actually got grapefruit at the bottom too. <laughs> Just pack it in whatever size you have and cover it with white vinegar, okay? And then ideally you want to leave it sit for two weeks and it's gonna turn this one actually I put in the bathroom cupboard like last year and It was percolating, you know with all the orange peels in it and it um, I, got, I forgot about it It was like three months later, so you can leave it sitting longer, but I know people won't probably want to use stuff now <laughs> My studio audience um, so at least give it a few days, check it. You want it to smell more like oranges than vinegar. It will still be a bit vinegary, but um, two weeks is about the time I usually leave it in a dark, cool place, pantry, cupboard, like like I said, mine was under the bathroom in the cupboard there. Um, and then it's ready to go. Take the peels out, put it in a container, and keep it in the fridge. And then as you want to use it, depending on what you're using it for, um, general cleaner, you could do like a 50-50. You could even do like, maybe even like, half a cup, quarter to half a cup of the vinegar into four cups of water. It doesn't have to be real strong. If you're doing some like hard water stains, you could even use it full strength if you wanted to. You just kind of play around with it. Um, you can also use it for making um, salad dressing, I'm trying to say. Do like avocado oil and some of this orange vinegar. It's gonna be perfect, oil and vinegar for your dressing. Super basic and, and easy. So there's this one for you. This one's really cheap. You can collect as you're eating an orange. This is what Kerwin's been doing for me. He's saving his orange peels at work and he's bringing them home <laughs> so we can put them in the jar. So I've got a few to add in. You can start out with it half full and cover it with vinegar and then add more oranges. But once it's done and full, you wanna let it sit for a few days so all of it, you get all the benefit from the peels. Um, and, and make sure you cover the peels. You have to really shove them down because if they're exposed, they will mold and you don't want that. That's one. Second one, I haven't whipped up yet, I was actually gonna do right here, is using essential oils. So if you've got some essential oils, great. If not, order some or make the orange peel one. <laughs> Starting out with two cups of water. And I actually use this from our Life Ionizer water machine, which does disinfect type pH water. So that's even extra oomph. And then what else do I got? Oh, um, oh, and then a cup of vinegar. Looks good, pour that in. And then I've got eucalyptus as an awesome antibacterial oil. I'm gonna put in like, I don't know, 20 drops. Four, five, six, seven. Twenty, I think that was twenty-one, and then thyme is another good one. I don't have that, so I'm using oregano oil. Oregano oil is another one, antiviral, antibacterial, a disinfectant kind of thing. It works really good on sore um, gums. You have a sore tooth or something. It, it, put a dab of this on. Be super careful because it's a very hot oil, and you don't want to swallow um, your spit at all after you put it on one of your gums for a little bit. You know. I'm gonna do some of this. What's the other one I got? And then tea tree. I also have tea tree oil. So these three together are amazing. Eucalyptus is really gonna give you some good scent with it as well. Wow, this one's coming out slow. And then tea tree oil. I'm gonna add in probably, I don't know, like 10 drops of that one. Can you count two at one time? Somebody counting? <laughs> I haven't seen another one teach you. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, I'm gonna call that good for oregano. Okay, there you have it. That's all you gotta do. Um, tip for you is make sure that it's glass. You don't want to use plastic for this at all. Um, I'm not really keen on. There may be something about it, but well, just use glass. Plastic, it'll eat your plastic. So then get these bottles like this that are dark. This actually has this oil in it, so it's a blue bottle. 
<laughs> but it looks even darker than that right now because of the color of the oil. Um, but you can get these at a lot of different places. Order them online too, but Herbally Grounded is where I usually get mine. They've got nice glass ones. And then I got a smaller one too. So right now I'm making this one for Kerwin to take to work so he can squirt his hands in the car and all that. Here we go. Before he goes, so. Okay, you're gonna be the, the first one to use it. Take a whiff. Woo, dang. Um, if you'd rather take the, this one, it's gonna be vinegary, but less so than this oil. Yeah, I'll take that one. You can take this one? Okay. He's all concerned about scents, you know, and what guys at work are gonna think it's too smelly. So, <laughs> crazy guys, but at least he's gonna stay healthy, right? Um, love you too. And there you have it, guys. Now I'm gonna, um, I don't wanna dunk this in because the outside isn't as clean as the inside. So, oh, here we go. I'm gonna pour it in here. Pour it in my tiny little bottle. Isn't this so cool? And there you have it. And then I've got to find another container. Oh, this is my jar here is where all the rest of this is going to go and be saved until I keep needing to use it. But here you have it. Two do-it-yourself ways to disinfect. You can, you know, clean your bathroom, clean your hands. My steering wheel has never been so clean. <laughs> Um, and it works great. This one's got a little bit more scent to it. So again, if you're like him, you might want to prefer the um, orange peel and vinegar. But it does take a little bit longer. So if you have essential oils on hand, these are really quick to whip up just like you saw me do. So there you have it. That is today's tips. I hope they were helpful for you. If I missed explaining anything, just post a comment below and I'll try to get back later and answer it for you. So that's all for this episode of Tips with Tiffany. I will see you again next time. Bye. Stay healthy, my friends.